afternoon. It's uh, nearly quarter past two on a Friday afternoon. I've got an errand to run but it's not that important. I can actually do that this evening if I want to. It's just from a diabetic pills because I've run out of my metformin but I'm not due an evening one till this evening and the um, pharmacy I use doesn't close till 10.30 anyway so I've got plenty of time. <laughs> I've <clears throat> also got a letter to mail off, but I can do that Monday if need be. That's also not important. In fact, I could do it tomorrow because I could get a stamp from the corner shop. So, yeah, whatever again. Ooh, a little bit of heartburn. A mum found last night. No, she didn't. She phoned today. <laughs> oh. um, we should be doing a car boot in the morning. And hopefully, Cat's Custom Trikes will be popping up to see me tomorrow afternoon. <clears throat> I actually have no idea what, why, but we'll find out. I know she wanted me to reserve a couple of those for her, so I have done. And I'm going to modify one so it runs from a little 6 volt power adapter. I've got a bag full in the cupboard, which I need to get down later anyway. Um, and I've got a box full up in Mum's shed for the car boot stuff, so... Hmm. Sorry about that. <laughs> Uh, and she wants it to be um, non-flashing, so I'm going to make a few modifications to one of those. I'm guessing she wants it as a novelty lamp. <laughs> anyway, I can, that shouldn't take me too long just to modify that. Uh, I actually thought I turned the volume completely off. Obviously I didn't. It was the general elections, not the general elections, you numpty. It was the local elections yesterday. Um, and Conservatives won. I can't say that I'm surprised. Um, simply because... Whether... Us Tory haters want to admit it or not, the Tories are the strongest party over here. You've got the Lib Dems, which are pretty much so far up the Tories' arse anyway, all you can see is their feet. you then got Labour, which, even though Labour has always been my favourite political party, they're just in shambles at the minute, you know. I like Jeremy Corbyn. But he's just got too many members that don't want to support him. Which, you know, is it's just causing issues in the Labour Party and uh, they're not strong enough. Um, and then you've got UKIP, which are just racist assholes anyway. And then you've got the Green Party, which has never, ever been a... Neither of those two have ever been strong parties anyway. So, unfortunately, you know, I don't like the Tories at all. But, you got to admit, they, if you believe what the media tells us at least, they are the strongest party. That is providing, you know, what the news reports on the Labour Party and whatnot have said are actually true. But, uh, anyway, I've got a funny feeling the general elections are going to go the exact same way, so I don't even know why Theresa May even called for a general election, because I think we all know what the outcome is, so... 
Anywho, I need to go and find those um, adapters that I need. I want to put a switch on one of these because um, if she wants to use one as like a novelty lamp, it'll be easier with a switch on the side of the body than just switching it on and off at a socket. So. I'm going to have a look. A push-button switch would be the easiest one to fit, but I don't think I've got push-buttons. I could put that on as a novelty switch and just solder the wires on there. <laughs> uh, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Well, I've got to pull the cord out. Ain't no good. Um, or I can get my Dremel out and just mark up and cut a little hole for a switch like this and then just boop. That should just clip in with those little clips, you see. Or I can hot glue it in, so. I could go overkill with that one. <laughs> I'm sure I've got other switches in here, they're pots. No. Empty. Momentary switches, they ain't no good. Apparently clips. No. I think there's my more. No, several empty trays in here. Big switches. I think they're gonna be a bit big for this project. You know, I actually thought I had more switches than that. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to disappear, get the parts together I need, close that, <laughs> and uh, my bag of adapters is in that orange bag up there, so I'm going to have to shimmy up a ladder and get that and go and get my laundry hung up as well, I think. And I've got a portable DVD player hiding under there. I'm going to take that to the car boot as well. And another computer that's on the side in the lounge. Right, so on that note, I'll see you in a little while. Well, about 30 minutes later, the lamp is completed. Complete with a button. <laughs> well... I figured as she wanted one of these attached to it that she was going to use it as like a novelty lamp so I decided to just fit a button to the front uh, I will just take the head off and show you in the side not that there's a lot there's literally uh, two wires going up into the lamp unit and that's what's down there, it literally screws to the switch. I have soldered the two wires under that blue tape, but I haven't got any heat shrink. So the only thing I had was uh, some blue PVC tape. It's just to stop it. There isn't really anything in there for it to short out against, but I'd rather have it there. The other thing I had to do was take this off the circuit board because the little flash circuit makes up part of the lamp holder. So I butchered one of my maxi lights, cut this end bit off one of the big maxi light boards. It's alright, I had a shitty one that I hated anyway so I butchered that one. I just hot glued it in because I also had the wires that came out of the bottom of it. I've also tied a knot in the wire where it uh, enters the case just to give a bit of a, um, what they call it, uh, basically just to stop the wires from being pulled out, I still can't remember what they call it, so I'm going to put this back together, but, uh, it's quite a, uh, just a simple little project really. Odd request though to have it modified this way. 
She didn't ask for the switch, but I thought that would make life easier than reaching down and flicking it on and off at the socket. Because I know she has a bit of a bad back as well, so I did nick the switch off the... Uh, and there's the actual circuit board, so I did nick the switch off of it as well. Because the one I was going to use was a bit shitty anyway. And this one looks nicer. Exactly the same switch, but this one looks cleaner, so... Yeah, it's as simple as that. One novelty static lamp. I think my other guess was that she wanted it as a novelty lamp because she wanted it static. Or, st woo, or steady burn. That's exactly why I put that not in the cable in case anything like that happens. But there we go. And it's completely serviceable, so if it breaks, I can fix it. <laughs> if the bulb blows, we can change that, so... That's a car boot tomorrow. I might actually take a few of those with me, see if I can get shot some. You never know. You never know. I'm actually getting hungry again. Mind you, I only had a couple of pork pies at lunch. I was up relatively early, so I had breakfast. Relatively early. So... <laughs> sort of like, well, I had breakfast at sort of, you know, the usual breakfast time for once. cost me in any part so she doesn't know yet because she's not online <laughs> she'll know when she sees this video <laughs> a friend of mine I'm discussing this with actually said it's a bargain for what I'm trying and considering it's now probably the well, to my knowledge, it's the only lamp out there like that. Mind you, I could make myself one if I really wanted to. I've got the adapters. A 5-volt adapter would work. It might be a little bit dimmer, but it will work. And you can pick adapters like that up. You can get them at car boot sales. I sell the damn things at car boot sales. There's usually someone at a car boot sale, at least one person, that sells various adapters and cables. I seem to be that one at the minute. <laughs> what I could do, if I can't shift these... Because they would actually make novelty nightlight more than anything, you know? In a kid's room. So I could actually modify all of these that I've got left, because the switch is pennies. In fact, the only thing I think I would have to buy is the switches. I may actually have enough adapters to do it. <laughs> I could sell them that way. And of course, it would be a, a limited edition as I've only got a limited number. Hang on, someone's talking to me in Portuguese and I have no idea what they're talking about. It's on one of the um, My Little Pony groups I admin. Um, he kept ignore. well, we thought he kept ignoring requests to um, credit the art he shared, but it turns out he um, doesn't know English very well. Not that uh, Google Tra Google Translate isn't doing too bad, but it seems with a lot of these translators, they can translate some languages better than others for some reason. I don't know why that is. I mean, I've translated French before, and I translated it near enough spot on. But this Portuguese that I'm translating at the minute... That didn't sound too good out there. I really didn't. That's how I've read it. Can, uh... 
close this chat now. <laughs> right. So, if anyone wants, oh, if anyone wants, if anyone watches my videos and want one of these made up, I'll soon make you one and post it to you. At postage cost, of course. I don't know how much I would charge. <laughs> Taken in account, taken into account, it's going to be like half an hour of my. I will do the joint in heat shrink as well, because I can get a case of that cheap enough. And I can use that for other projects. But that's the first project I've built on this table. Yay! I knew this table would be useful. But I've actually now got one, two, three, four, five left. So, I'm going to count up what change I've got. I've got to keep some for the uh, car boot tomorrow, for the uh, pitch fee. I've got a few things I want to take with me. I don't know if I'll take these lamps. I've tried road lamps before and they just don't sell, you know. They've got to be one of those things, you know, that you need a collector to come walking past. <laughs> Or someone that dislikes it because of the novelty aspect of it. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Hmm. Let's talk about some news, shall we? Well, I suppose, to be more precise, our fucked up justice system. Because I can't figure this out. Because it seems that the bigger your crime, the lesser your sentence. And I'll explain what I mean. A few months ago, there was a lad, I think a little bit younger than me, I think he's he's 30 years old, well known in the town. He was walking across a car park just a, over the way from me when a car deliberately ran him over. And then the same car went round in circle and went for a second attempt to hit him, but missed, thank fuck. But the guy has suffered life-changing injuries. He's just been sentenced to 10 years in jail for GBH, grievous bodily harm. Yeah, I was right, the guy who is 30 years, who's three years younger than me, I was just reading the headline. Right. But I've also just, this is all from the same news agency, I might say. Might add, rather. University professor gets suspended sentence. He was found with 2,000 pictures, indecent pictures, of children. And he gets a fucking suspended sentence. Have I missed something somewhere? So you can own child pornography and not go to prison. But if you beat someone up or cause GBH, you can go to prison. Oh, I don't get how that fucking works. And if you actually went to the courts and asked it's because our prisons are full, but you can put someone in prison for a lesser crime, That's, that just doesn't make sense. I don't know. Am I missing something? Well, that just seems utterly... <laughs> I'm lost for words. I don't get it. Someone in the comments enlighten me. Have I missed something somewhere? Oh, that was the other thing on a completely different subject, but in the news. Cyclist critical in hospital after colliding with a pedestrian. Now. I do class myself as an experienced cyclist because I have ridden when I was actually a late learner I think I was about not eight nine maybe ten years old when I actually finally learned to ride a bike um, my sister was a bit later as well but both my brothers actually learned before I did or at a younger age than me 
Anyway. And I have actually found that if you're not careful, pedestrians, when they go across the road, if they can't hear cars, they presume the road is clear, so they will step out in front of you. Because um, I've had it done several, well, more times than I've probably had hot dinners. <laughs> um, I'm not saying that's what happened here. The um, news article isn't actually clear on what happened. It doesn't say if the cyclist was riding on the footpath, if the pedestrian stepped out in front of him or what. I'm just saying, you know, I've had pedestrians step out in front of me many times. And I am assuming it's because a cyclist is... We're usually fairly quiet, so... I'm guessing a pedestrian thinks if they can't hear cars, it's safe to cross. Um, not thinking to actually look for even a mobility scooter, because they're pretty damn quiet as well, you know, they don't look for anything like that. It's just like cyclists are just, you know, this non-existent existent thing, if that makes sense. We exist on the roads, but we're non-existent to pedestrians and drivers. <laughs> it's, it's nuts, this world is totally nuts. Anyway, I just want to bring that up while I was uh, sitting here looking at the uh, articles. <laughs> I'm sure I've missed something with the prison sentences here though. I'm pretty certain I have. Right, I've got skedaddle. Hi guys. It is nearly 11.15, Saturday the 6th. Happy birthday to my brother. He's just turned 20 years old. So I hope he's had a good day. Right. I had uh, Cats Custom Trikes stop up. I had a good old chat and a hangout and uh, I've got her PS3 in the bedroom that needs repairs. Um, never repaired a console like this before but it's seemingly complicated at the minute because it's the hard drive that's failed. I took the hard drive out, put it on my little dock up here, not recognised. When it's in the actual PS3, it comes up as not being recognised as well, so... Hard drive is as dead as a doornail. Um, apparently, there's like three ways you can reinstall the um, software update, they call it, um, when you change the hard drive. One is via the USB stick, which I can't get to work at the minute, but I think it could be because I haven't got the hard drive formatted right. Apparently I've got to format it to a FAT32, but the hard drive I've got in the docking station at the moment won't give me that option for some reason. Uh, so I might actually try that via a different... Actually, I could plug that in in the other computer and see if... I'll, do, I'll have to experiment. I've got a few computers I can plug that into. I could try Windows XP. If not, I'll find a method. I'm sure there's a way I can do it. Uh, I'd actually rather do it with the hard drive I've currently got in there, because it's a 320 gigabyte. Because uh, this one's only 120 gig, you know, I don't have another 160. So I can't match it, and I don't really want to go smaller. <laughs> so... I will... Actually, in a little while, I think I will go and get that and see if I can... Uh, format it. It's got two partitions on this hard drive, and one of them, it does let me format it to a FAT32. Unless it's not letting me do the other partition because I've already got that one set as a FAT32. I don't know how it works. I've got a JSP steel flash coming. 
That will be the second one I've got, so I'm going to put that up for swaps. Um, I might do that with my BT lamp as well. See if anyone wants to swap me, swap with me for that one. Um, and as soon as a friend of mine gets it, I sh should be swapping one of my 1970s traffic lamps for a blue doorman lamp. I hope. Because I've got three of those traffic lamps, so I'm not really. I'd be happy keeping just a couple. If I didn't get rid of a couple like a couple of years ago, I'd have still had five. <laughs> right. Um, apparently, there's like a a version of the uni lamp on eBay, the Dorman uni lamp that I've been told about. Um, under road lamp, apparently. I'm just gonna. Have a look at that. I'm hoping I can do this segment before the phone rings. I'm hoping the phone does ring. We didn't do a car boot this morning because of the weather. It was pretty dull. It was drizzly this morning, but that stopped this afternoon. And it was still horrible. Um, and I really can't be asked to do one tomorrow either. I think I just need a break from it. So apparently this new lamp is under road lamp on eBay. I know that one is. I wouldn't mind that one because it's quite an unusual one, but I'm not sure I'm willing to pay that for it. That's actually fairly local to me as well. The username is Betty Swallox. Um, they're in Norwich. Don't allow collection though, I don't think. Ooh, was it the silver line lamp under this? Oh yeah, look at this look. Do that's the one, Dorman Vintage Paraffin Road Lamps with um, clear lenses in them. May have been for railway use to put on the front of the trains. As they've got a white lens and painted red. I do want one of these style of lamps. There's another Dorman one there. I've actually called it Greenham, but Greenham's actually the supplier. I am after... I'm going to make it my mission by the end of summer to get one of these. I'm not really that interested in paraffin lamps, but I do like that one. And I actually remember in the 80s still seeing them hanging at Roadworks. Right. So I've got to find this other lamp. It's called a silver line. And apparently it's like the Dorman Uni lamp, but not exactly the same. Oh my god, there's one of these lamps here for 12 quid. <sighs> I'm not going to have a lot of money spare next week anyway, so that'll have to wait. A silver line. Whoops. Lamp. I hit the O, not the P. That's a clip lamp. Here it is. £7.33. Ah, but that's got a lemon lens on it. It does look. <laughs> that is actually tempting just for that lemon lens. £7.31. I do ones with the proper orange lens as well, the amber lens. Stuff me, £9.24. Sit on that and spin. Right. So I found it. But this guy said... He saw one for £6 something, but... Maybe that's the one and he got the price wrong. Or misread the price. I'm just having a quick scroll down. Right, I have seen that one pop up in the searches before. I'm going to add that to watch list. Because I know it's not a genuine doorman. 
that. It's still an interesting one. And I bet that's got the shitty little lamp circuit board in it. If it has, I'm going to put one of mine in there because I haven't got them up on eBay yet. I've still got five here. Two of them have gone to Cat's Custom Trikes because I turned that one into a lamp, didn't I, for her? A little sort of novelty night light. I don't think you'd be able to use it as a proper lamp, but it'd be a nice sort of, you know, decorative light. At least it's quite unique. I don't want to clip, click on that one. He said clip on that one. I don't want to clip on that one. It arrived, so. I had a message to seller about all the, this big box of road lamps I got. Um, because it wasn't recognising the um, parcel force tracking number and he says it always does it why doesn't that surprise me parcel force is shit and expensive fucking cat made me jump I could just see this USB cable beside me just started waving around all by itself speaking of I don't know if anyone that follows me actually believes in ghosts and ghoulies and things but I do, from personal experiences, but if you don't, that's fine. I've got nothing against those that don't, you know. I'm a strong believer in um, that we can, we're allowed to believe in what we want. Same as if you believe in God, I believe in God as well, so. But look at these two. I was sitting here at the PC, look at this, you know. Looking at my screen, merrily away, about this time last night. And I just heard this thunk behind me. And when I spin round, those two have fallen over from a flat surface. Yeah, I know the cable's going under that one, but that's because I've moved it since then. But they were standing bolt upright, side by side. And they just went, boof. The cat was not even in here. He was asleep in the bedroom, I believe. It was either the bedroom or on the towel in the bathtub. And uh, I'm not kidding, when I was, I just ignored it and I turned around again, I had my hand here and I could actually feel a cold spot on the back of my hand. And it then went up my arm. And the thing is, window's over there. And I've got this blocking it so I don't feel a draft actually from that window. So, maybe I got a visit, who knows. Who knows? Right. Well, if he's posted that lamp out to me, it might arrive Monday or Tuesday. And, uh, the larger lamps I got, I think I will stick to sort of one of each version of it and not two of each because I really haven't got the room to store those unless I start burying them in cupboards and wherever else I can find. Well actually if I can get rid of some of the shit in the shed I'll uh, have loads of room down there to store them. Alright. He's dropped the price on this one again look. I know King Cohen watches my videos. This one's dropped, say so quid now. That is another tempting one because it's quite an unusual one. I know the top of the lens is broken, but he's dropped that one another pound as well. If this is still for sale on my next payday, I may go for this one because. It started off at 20 quid, then he dropped it to 18, he's now dropped it to 17. Sometimes it pays to watch things and just wait. Because as they say, people are only willing to pay 
well, no, I'll change that. It's only worth what someone's willing to pay. And that's been for sale for the last at least two months, that red uni lamp. At least two months. And why has that done that? Okay, so eBay's got problems. It's not loading up the rest of my uh, watch list. It's only loading up the front page, not the other two pages. Oh well. I don't think I've got anything of interest in the others anyway. Loads of my little pony plushies still. Hmm. Right. friend of mine has just sent me a My Little Pony. He's not even a brony, but he's just sent me a My Little Pony thing. Oh, we've got Rainbow Dash this time. What My Little Pony character are you? It's one of those random generator things for Facebook. You love competitions. No, I don't. And you're always the winner. No, I'm not. <laughs> Sometimes you can be a bit of a show-off. Nope. But there's no harm in being confident with yourself. You are also very loyal, yes. And will always be there to help out your friends, yes. So that's sort of half true, that one. Hmm. I can't even remember if I said Mum what to do a car boot tomorrow, but I cannot be buggered. I'm going to shut the camera down then before she decides to ring. I hope she does. I'm getting fed up of, you know, not playing music now in my headphones this time. Like right? she says she's going to ring me and she's fallen asleep. Age thing, probably. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye bye for now.